Ellsbury Golf Club. I yeah, really need to have a word with the greenkeeper. Right, so there we've got a massive wide bit. I'd say, ooh, 40 yards wide, quite long, about 200 yards long, fenced off. That's the bit the footpath goes through. Obviously, either side has been harvested. This is so clearly been taken by HS2. And then this bit is open, and that bit over there is fenced off. And this just makes no I don't know what they're doing here. If this bit in the middle was part of the land grab, it would make what's the point of that not connecting to that when HS2 is going over there? I I I genuinely I'm a, I don't know what's happening here. What are you doing, smiley dog? Oh, I'm feeling we're waiting, Dad. Yeah. Well, she's waiting because I wanted to get a shot of that, and then of course I have to come out into the sun. It's too dark in there. We finally starting to see these notifications of footpath closures. Uh, I say it's better to see them than to not see them. It's better to not have them at all because you're not closing the footpaths. But there you go. The great thing is, of course, that the first one of these I saw related to the closure of the footpath around the, uh, the Walton Court, Court Estate in Aylesbury and that sign was probably about a mile, mile and a half after I'd passed the footpath that was closed uh, which didn't have, which when you actually at the start of the footpath had no notification that it was going to be see I don't know that it's closed, it just has a notification that it's meant to be closed now um, but yeah there wasn't a sign on the actual footpath there was a sign yeah, about a mile, mile and a half away but they've got me here, that's in the right place so, yeah, got something right, finally. Come on, go, cross. This is Ellsborough Road, just outside Wendover. A lot of these houses are empty. Uh, a few are being let out by HS2 because they bought them all because what they're gonna do is they're gonna knock them down. Now, you might think that's not you know, unusual for HS2 that they might be knocking down houses. However, what they're doing here is they're knocking down the houses so they can then put a tunnel underneath them. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry. You're gonna knock the houses down and then you're going to build a tunnel underneath them. Yeah, have I got that right? Yeah, I've got that right. That, well. <laughs> Insane, but you know. Nothing about HS2 has sanity anywhere close to it, so it's not a massive shock. You're just happy there between... <laughs> You're just going to lie there, are you, dog? Alright. Yeah? Evie? You're just going to lie there? Fine. Well... This is where I got to at the end of day 26, um, the Lee, uh, possibly the most conspicuous place I've camped, right in the middle of the village green, uh, opposite uh, one of the uh, the Midsummer Murders pubs over there, uh, the Cock and Rabbit, also known as a Rose and something cutlet, I don't know. Anyway, uh, where was I? Oh yeah, I was. <laughs> you, do you, you do know these things aren't scripted, don't you? Uh, yeah, uh, oh, start off, uh, thanks to Gordon for, for pointing out the, uh, those, those houses which I would have forgotten on, on Ellsborough Road, and the pint, and you know what, I've got far too many things to thank Gordon for. I, maybe not to thank him for, yeah, that's the way you should go, just go up the Ridgeway, and, uh, I'm alright with hills, it's hills when I'm carrying all that, that's the problem, but, the other option that I had from Elsa Road was I did think about walking up Coombe Hill. And the reason I thought about walking up Coombe Hill is Coombe Hill overlooks Checkers. Now obviously HS2 is going the other side of Coombe Hill. But I remember that back in the day, you know, eight or nine years ago, a load of people from around the Wendover area had a walk up Coombe Hill and 
sort of like like the the Sir Navis giant or you know the, the veil of the white horse they un unraveled not a giant white elephant overlooking the checkers but 33 billion and a big question mark overlooking checkers because yeah it's going to cost 33 billion is it because that's what the price of hs2 was at the time and of course we've just moved on from the official cost of 56 almost double that to last week or oh, what was it about 80 83 so it almost went up by 33 billion uh, last week and that's still to be perfectly honest i believe a conservative estimate because it's still i think based on it's based on the honest 2015 costings which have been had inflation added to them and when i say the honest 2015 costings there's still things missing from them not just the off the book stuff that i keep going on about like electricity but there's a lot of costings that they're still seem to be under well, anyway uh what else yeah that was something else i came to the pub last night i had intended to get some work done but i got i got talking to a couple of you and there's some real terrible stories about how hs2 have treated people when they've taken their houses that they you know deliberately quite well very clearly they've they've all been underestimated you've had people who've been then undercut there was one person who had the terrible misfortune of getting an offer under exceptional hardship but then when the need to sell scheme came along and the uh, you had the option to, to rent back your own house said oh no we, we won't have the exceptional hardship we'll wait for need to sell and they ended up with 40 percent of what they'd originally been offered under need to set under under exceptional hardship and yet there's people up and down the line who've been screwed in that way anyway uh yeah well i'm at lee so i'm only just a little bit away from the uh the, the, the north tunnel portal of the children's and obviously when it goes in a tunnel I don't know what I'm going to do that bit because we've got a fair bit of tunnel until I get to the north, until I get to the south portal. I'm sure I'll find something to say, but it's a nice early start. It's not even nine o'clock yet, uh, and so I expect to be off by nine. So I reckon the Herfield Dogs Trust is about 16 miles away, and obviously the protest camp's there. And I reckon I can do that today. The only problem is with that, that that's half the way. And um, today's Friday. Well, tomorrow's Friday because this is the day 26 video, isn't it? Uh, the day, day 27 is Friday. <laughs> uh, but I've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I want to arrive at Euston on Monday. And potentially I'm going to do half of it on, on Friday on day 27. <laughs> Shall I stop pretending? <laughs> <laughs> this is still day 26. Well, I think you you you, you possibly uh, figured out that this is you know Friday morning and not Thursday night. You know what? I'm going to stop talking.